What's up guys, welcome back. So today's video, we're sitting down to play with some Too Faced holiday collection stuff. Thought I would do a one brand of Too Faced today because I have tons of their holiday collection stuff. I don't like my videos to be too overwhelmingly filled with one brand. And if they are, I'm kind of like, I just want to make it strictly that brand. I don't know, my mind likes things to be even. And if there's like a power balance with one brand, I'd rather just make it a dedicated video, so. That is what we're doing today. Really wanted to do a makeup tutorial for Christmas. This is what I have done. I use the gingerbread extra spicy palette. I love spicy makeup. I don't like spicy food. I had Indian for dinner last night. Ooh, very spicy on my taste buds. Oh, it was a lot. Went through five glasses of water. <laughs> Such a cute little palette. I love the color scheme. Of course, you guys know I had to do a really warm red kind of themed look because it's Christmas and that's what Santa likes. That's why he suits red. Pumping out the content for you guys before I go to Hamilton Island in a couple of days time. Very excited for that. Thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram, which is just Casey Rayton uh, and keep watching. using a bunch of Too Faced holiday collection stuff. Um, so most of this is new, but I thought, thought? Who am I? I thought that I would do um, basically a full face of Too Faced because, I don't know, my brain just really likes how cohesive that is. So I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna start off with my Hangover Prime from Too Faced. I love this, it is so hydrating and very gentle on sensitive skin. And that is this bitch right here. Wow, is there not much left in this? What the heck? I know there's more in here. I can feel it. Hold on, I've got another one in my drawers. Are you joshing me? Are you joshing me? Apparently there wasn't much left in that one either. I don't really know what is going on. I don't know when they dried up. I don't remember that happening. So I'm just gonna press this into my skin. My skin <laughs> just cover my whole mouth when I'm talking. This is just really hydrating and oh, it's just like putting a really beautiful moisturizer on your skin. And then for foundation, I'm going to use, no, I'm not using that, I'm using this. Um, my tooth, actually do I, I don't know. I don't know which one I want to use. I don't know if I want to use Born This Way or the Do You. I don't know. I can't see the color. I don't know why I'm comparing them. I'm gonna blend it with a brush. I've never used this for foundation. It's the Zoeva 126 Deluxe Cheek Finish, but it just looks fluffy and I just feel like I could, I don't know, get it on there like nice and lightly. You gotta shake your bitches up when they've been in the drawer. You know what I mean? Cause if you're just sitting like this, it's all gonna, it's gonna separate. I am literally so tired today. I don't know if you guys can tell my eyes are like so puffy. I thought I got a lot of sleep, but I think, I feel like what I did was I overslept. And so I like, I've made myself really drowsy for the rest of the day. Oh, this brush is actually working really well. How good is that? Whoa. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize just how pale my face was at the moment. <laughs> People are gonna be so cranky. Honestly, my face just like never sees the sun. I always have makeup on it and I always have sunscreen on. Even when I do go in the sun, like my body gets tanned. Like I had a bit of a natural tan last summer and my face, my face and my neck just don't tan, but like the rest of me, my back will get so tanned. And then like, as soon as I turn to the front, there's just no tan, so weird. I used to really hate Born This Way. Like, I don't know what it was about it. I just didn't love the foundation. And I just, I don't know. I just found that it didn't look good on my skin, but then I don't know what happened. Suddenly I started liking it. I like tried it again a few years later and um, a lot of the foundations I used to like when I hated this, I now hate. Like my skin's a lot drier than it used to be. So yeah, I don't know, I just find Born This Way looks really good now. It's crazy. I'm just using a little like concealer type brush to go on my brows. This one is from Sigma. I'm sorry about it telling you guys my brushes, so I'm gonna try and get better. But this one is the Precision 4D HD and it's just like a little like um, prism shaped sort of brush. Prism? Like the top of a house, shaped like a roof, like a pointy little roof. 
So it's good because it's got heaps of edges and then you can get around your brows. Typically when I do my makeup, I like to do my brows after I do my foundation, like when I'm just doing it myself. But for when I'm filming, I like to just get my brows done like so they're just out of the way. I also did a quick tint before I started filming as well. So I just wanted to, you know, I don't want to cover them up with foundation after just tinting them. And I also did some little faux freckles. I don't know if you guys can see them. But I just used the Maybelline Brow Tattoo. This is so good. This is what I use to tint my brows because I just can't be bothered to go and get it done anywhere. Um, and I just did, like I literally just used the tip on it. It's not like thin or anything, but because it kind of like coagulates, I can't even get it open. My hands are sticky. See what I mean? Like it, because it kind of comes to a point, like the product and it's really sticky, it just did little freckle dots like perfectly. And I feel like they're so cute. I'm going to, I don't know if this is going to be dark enough to contour with. Oh, it might be. We'll just see. It should be okay. So I'm going to use my Born This Way Sculpting Concealer in the shades Almond and Honey. And I'm just going to highlight and contour, chisel. And then that's pretty much the base done. And we'll move on to like all the fun stuff because that's what we're here for. I think I'm just going to use that same brush to blend that out. I'm still not sure if this is like dark enough. I can't see. I am not in a very chatty mood today. Oh my god, how boring am I being? What is new with you guys? What's up? What's everyone doing for Christmas? I think I'm just going to be in Wollongong for Christmas because Hamish and I will be moved down there by then. I think Hamish is going to be um, visiting his family for Christmas and then we'll probably be together for New Year's, maybe. Or I'm trying to like contour <laughs> while I talk. Yeah, actually, I do think this is dark enough. Yes, yes it is. Well, I'm glad I only used a little bit. The first time I tried this, um, like ages ago, like tried using this product to contour with, I was like, holy shit. I used too much and my whole face looked effed. It was so crazy. What was I saying? Yeah, for Christmas, I'll be down in Wollongong, so I'll be with my puppies for Chromazest and hopefully I'll be in my own place. I mean, I'm pretty sure I will be, but that's an update for another video. Oh my god, I really wanted these freckles to stay showing through. Come back. I'm such a donkey. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to draw all these freckles back on. I definitely didn't want my face to be this full coverage. I don't know how that happened. I guess these products are just really full coverage. Oh my God. First, I'm gonna spray the Hangover two in one, three, no, three in one. Oh, that's a lot of things. Um, I'm gonna spray this just to give myself a little bit of moisture. Ugh. Ugh. It smells like coconut, it feels like a great time. It's a very aggressive. It attacks your face. It's like having a shower. I'm going to set with Too Faced because like I'm using pretty much all Too Faced in this video but this is the <coughs> um, Born This Way Translucent Powder I think I'm going to bake along here because I notice when I bake just underneath my contour it um just makes my face look like so much more chiseled and then for the rest of my face I'm just really lightly setting so not using much powder at all. I'm going to move on to my eyes because this is like, this is the exciting bit. I feel like all that's boring. No one wants to see that. Even though I love doing my base, I'm just really excited to try these out. So I have both of the Gingerbread Spice and the Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette. I already can tell you guys I'm going to use the Extra Spicy because I'm a little bit naughty and I like that. It's just a bit more saucy. So this is the original one. I think this came out last year. I'm guessing this is the original and then because I never oh, ah, ah, I dug my fingers right into it oh my goodness are you a fucking idiot really grinds my gears oh my god I just can't get this fucking one of yours spicy spice gingerbread spice and then this one's extra spicy so I can't hold them very well but this one's just more my colors, you know what I mean? They're actually very, very similar. I do find this with a lot of Too Faced palettes, that they're quite similar. I don't really 
love like this section. I'm not really a purple kind of gal and this one's definitely more purple. Whereas this one is much more warm and like there's very little amounts of like pink and like this color here, that's like the only one I would not use. Why is there a blue? I don't understand that blue guy, but the rest of them, I really love all those tones. They're just more warm rather than cool tones. It's gonna be a great, great, great time. I'm gonna take a little bit of plenty of dough just to start off with. And I'm gonna work that into my crease. Oh, I should zoom you in. I should do that. Zoom, 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 okay. Plenty of dough, just a really nice transition shade. And I'm just gonna work that into my crease. So I'm not sure what kind of look I wanna do. Maybe like a halo eye. I haven't really done a halo eye in a little while. So this is just my Sigma E40. And literally all I'm doing is just blending this into my crease and the outer corner just so I've just got a little bit of like, a little bit of something laid down. And then when I go in with my darker colors, everything will just blend a lot easier. Now I'm gonna go in with just a pinch, no, in a pinch. What am I saying? Call me with in a pinch. It's just a really pretty peachy shade. It's kind of like a um, dusty sort of peach. So I'm just blending this on the inner and outer corners of my eye. And this brush I'm using is my E25, I think. It's all rubbed off because I use this brush all the time. It's one of my favorites. And I do have a Sigma discount code. I have not mentioned my Sigma discount code in years. It has been such a long time. It is an affiliate code. I just forget to mention it and I can just never be bothered, but it's 10% off. So if you guys want to use it, it's just Casey Rayton. I do make a very small commission from that um, if you guys choose to buy something, but totally up to you if you want to use it. I've just had lots of questions lately about the brushes that I use. So I thought I would just Start trying to mention them again. And then taking that lighter shade and just like going over everything. And I'm just gonna keep doing this a couple times. It's just to like make sure everything's really blended, but also nicely pigmented. It just like makes it more diffused when you do that. All right, now on an even smaller brush, I'm just gonna take an E30 pencil brush from Sigma and I'm gonna go in with extra spicy. So it's just a really cool these are all kind of like dusty sort of shades. So it's like a really dusty, rusty sort of red. It's such a cool color. And so I'm placing this like a little bit more precisely in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I was using for the last color. And I'm gonna use that to blend it out. Because it's got a little bit of shadow left on it, it will just blend so much easier. What's up, sweetie? Let's go and give it a kiss. Why? Because you've been eating Nutella. I want to see if you can tell. I can always <laughs> tell. I know your smell. Um, yeah, can you actually tell? Yeah. If you came in and I didn't know, I'd be like, where's that chocolate? So what I'm doing now is I'm going in with Cookie Call, which is like a dark brown. And I've taken my E45 instead from Sigma because I thought this was just a little bit easier to blend. And I've just placed it on the outer and inner corners of my eyes. Pretty much the same technique as before. Um, and then I'm using that E25, but I'm going in with the previous red shade to like blend over that. But I'm not going to bring these up into my crease. They're just going to stay on the lid. And I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and just pop it right in the middle. And then this is um, just that brush I was using to sculpt my brows. Just gonna tap onto the lid. So I like to take mine a little bit above my crease, just so it looks like, I don't know, it makes your eye look a little bit bigger, I think. And I really like when whatever shimmer that you put on the lid when you do a halo eye, it just kind of like meets up in here. So I'm gonna take the shade Cookie Cutter which is just a really pretty sparkly, it's not sparkly, but it's like shimmery. I just like to place just like a bunch of the shimmer just with my finger. I just feel like it really makes it pop. I'm just gonna take whatever's left over on my E25 and start blending 
right into that shimmer and just get like a little bit of like the shape back that we had before. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, and then I'm gonna put like a little bit of um, glitter on the eyes, I think, just like on the center part of the lid. So I'm gonna grab the glitter. I love doing this for when I'm not wearing falsies either because it just, I don't know, I feel like it elongates your eye and it just looks so good without false lashes. I will now use this teeny tiny little Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. He's so cute, he's like a little candy cane. Don't ask what these lashes are, I don't know. They were just in front of me. I feel like they could be a pair of tart lashes. But then I also feel like they could be Huda Beauty Scarlet Lashes, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh wait, I don't want to do my bottom lash mascara yet. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm going to do my bottom lash mascara after I do my lower lash line. This is just going to be real quick. My lower lash line is always so quick because I just hate doing it. I'm going to go in with Extra Spicy, the nice beautiful red. Out of corner. Mm. Out of corner. Pretty much following the same principle as the top lid. And then I'm going to go in with just a pinch, which is the peachy color. Color? I said color with like an A. That was weird. And then I've just taken like a really little smidge of the brown and just like shoved it in there. And then I'm just kind of meshing and like marrying everything together on that same brush I used for the lid. I'm just going to put a little bit of the shimmer right in the middle. And then I'm going to be real sneaky and I'm just going to take the other side of this brush. Because I can't be able to get another one, so I'm just going to load it up heaps. Oh, now we're going to do bottom lash mascara. So that is it. Why do I look like I have a mustache? Why do I have a mustache? That's really weird. Is it my lighting? That is it for the eyes. I'm going to move on to the rest of the face because there's some really cute stuff to try. Also, if you guys can see the fake tan, I, I don't want to talk about it, okay? I, I just I had a momentary lapse of brain i had a lapse of brain and that happened the next little product i'm going to try out is the gingerbread tan spicy bronzer this is so cute it's not really my kind of color for a bronzer it's like a bit red you know what i mean a bit like shimmery so oh my god oh, he's ruined oh my god i didn't want to ruin him my gingerbread man is no more. He's gone to gingerbread heaven. Okay, I can see this getting muddy if you use too much because it is very shimmery and it's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. Like it looks cool toned, but red, if that makes sense. Like you know how the white was on the gingerbread man? It looks like you've gotten a like, warm red toned bronzer and mixed it with like pearlescent shimmer and like I feel like those kinds of bronzers and that kind of color can get muddy really quickly and it's just like not my favorite kind of color to bronze with it's not bad like it's pretty but yeah it's just not my favorite this is like their chocolate soleil bronzer so you can see what I mean like it looks really cool toned compared to this so this is just very, very red toned. So if that's not your kind of color, like I prefer more of like a yellowy toned kind of bronzer. So this one's from their Let It Snow Girl collection. It looks like this. Shows you guys on the back. So you get an eyeshadow palette, a little highlight and contour, and then you get a little blush palette, which is super cute. And that's what the little mascara came in as well. They are cardboard packaging though. So like the other stuff, the gingerbread collection stuff, it's like hard plastic. And then these ones are like cardboard, so like the packaging is definitely a little bit crappier. Gonna go in with this little guy. Like I said, it's a little duo. And I'm just gonna use the highlight and just highlight the high points of my face. I 
And then I'm gonna jump in with a little blush palette. So you get four blushes in this. And these are cool because they like just slide across. I actually really like stuff like this, like even though it's crappy packaging. I think it's really good for travel because like cardboard, I don't know, it just doesn't hit the ground as hard as plastic does and I just find that these never shatter. So I'm going to take, oh, of course I'm gonna just take this really peachy one because I love that. Oh my god, this blush is so pretty. That is so pretty. I always like to put a little bit of blush on my nose. So I think it just looks so youthful and cute. Okay, I really like that blush. We're gonna do my lips now. I have some really, really pretty colors. But I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of my Too Faced Extreme Lip... Was that a fluffy that just dropped off it? Or was that gloss? I don't know. But this is the Lip Injection Extreme. I literally love this so much. It just like plumps up your lips. Some people say it's really, really stingy. Some days I find it to be a little bit stingy and then other days I don't really feel it at all. Um, like today, I cannot feel it. I don't know why. I just like don't even notice it. Uh, but the other day when I put it on, I was like, oh, 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 I can feel that. I love it. I don't find it uncomfortable. I've used some lip injection glosses before and they are so painful it felt like i was putting like actual pepper on my lips like um like chili it was insane but this one is really really good and i love it so much ring -a -ding -ding, sting -a -ding -ding. i don't know what color i want to use so i've got two of the melted mattes these are in the shade gingerbread man and gingerbread girl personally i feel like this one should be called gingerbread lady rather than girl but those are so cute oh my god like those colors and then I've got a lipstick here. This is Gingerbread Man in a lipstick. So I'm guessing this is like a little bit more creamy. Um, and this is probably what I'm gonna go for just because I'm not like a matte lip kind of gal. I'm gonna wipe this off. Where's that freaking thing? You guys probably can't even tell a difference, but I feel like it just gives them a little plump. I notice it the most up here because I don't have a very defined lip line and I feel like it just ever so slightly kind of like puffs that bit up which is what I love the most so oh my god this is so beautiful look at like the little imprints on the lipstick look at the detail how cute is that I feel like there's apples that's really weird I'm really confused why is there an, there's like an apple on the top and this has apples cut out of it but it's gingerbread. It smells like gingerbread. Hmm. Hmm. This is so pretty and the way that this is like kind of shaped is so good for like you don't have to use lip liner. So pretty. That is like my kind of red. I don't really like blue tone kind of reds. This I feel like this does have the tendency to make your teeth look a little bit more like yellow. Um, but I don't know. I don't really have that very yellow teeth anyway. That is like the comfiest lipstick. Color is perfect. I love that it's so like rusty yet still so bright. Like, oh my God, this is a Christmas look. This is Christmas. All right, guys, that is it for this video. This is the final look. I love this. This is something that I would wear on Christmas. I think it's so glam. And I just love that it's really warm toned and red. I'm such a red and warm tones kind of girl. And that's why I picked the extra spicy palette to use because they're just so my colors, mainly this color right here. Oh, I love that so much. I love this lipstick. I just think this is such a cute little collection. Like I think if you're tossing up between um, any stuff from Too Faced for Christmas, I would go like the gingerbread route rather than like this stuff because like if I'm 100% honest with you guys this stuff is really shitty packaging it's just cardboard it's not gonna last very long and I'm guessing the pan sizes in here would be quite small it's still really really cute because when it's all in the box it looks like a little snowman I'll put it in there and I'll show you guys personally I would get this for like my little sister or my cousin or something like a teenager you know what I mean someone who's not like crazy crazy into makeup um, but they still like little collectors kind of things because this seems like a little bit like Kiddish. I still think this is super super cute, but if I was to pick between the two, I would go for the gingerbread. Out of everything, what I would recommend to you guys is the extra spicy palette. I think it's so beautiful, blended amazing. I really love the formula of these eyeshadows. 
um, and I love like the color tones of this um, and then of course the lipsticks because I just I love these colors and I really like Too Faced lipsticks I'm not like a huge fan of this melted matte formula like without lip balm they can be quite drying but if you put like a little bit of lip balm underneath they're amazing and they stay put all day and those colors are really pretty but this lipstick is so creamy, so pigmented. Really hope that you guys like this one. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell button down below so you guys don't miss any of my notifications. And I will catch you guys in my next video.